No, no, no. Don't get too close. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay back. Stay back. Don't get too close. I'm all protected here. Come on now. Oh, can you even imagine going through your day or going through life like this? Hey, folks. Hey, I got to remove this. Oh, what a pain. I'm Joe Fermano, host of the How to Use Your Life show. Welcome to today's daily video blog. It's contagious. Have you heard? If you're wondering why I got the the, 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 the protective cap on, the rubber gloves, the face mask, the, the coat, the protective coat. I would have went with the booties if I could find them. Hey, at least look, if you're going to go, you might as well match. See the green here, lighter green, dark greener? You got to look good, you know what I mean? But if you're wondering why I'm so protected and, and, and I don't want you to get near me, so stand back a little bit. I got to protect myself. I don't want to get any disease. I don't want to get any flu. I don't want to get any pandemic. Is because I'm sure you've heard recently about this this pan possible pandemic and this disease and to me it's just it's it's a killer it's a lifelong killer that for some people is in and around their lives forever what am i talking about you ask well surely you know it's the uh it's that killer that's uh, uh, a lack of will uh, the loss of enthusiasm in your life the the stopping of dreaming uh, being around people who are kill joys. It's the bad attitude. It's the woe be me. It's living a lifetime of saying, I've just given up on life. I'll never succeed. Nothing ever goes my way. To me, that is the real, long lasting killer disease, cancer that infects us and everyone around us. Okay. I am certainly not trying to discount or diminish this possible pandemic that is currently affecting us. Uh, keep in mind, folks, 36,000 people a year on average, I'm not trying to uh, uh, diminish it, but die from flu on, 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 a, on a consistent basis. Anyway, okay, keep that in mind. But I find it so funny that people are running around. They got their masks on, which most doctors say it's too late anyway. They got, they got the gloves. Well, I'm going with the gloves. I'm being a little excessive here to make my point. And how quickly, boy, we just clamor to the television, the internet. Give me more of that negative news. What's going on? Maybe I shouldn't go out. Maybe I should stay in. You know what? If you can't have a great attitude about life and what you do have, you might as well go out every day looking like this. For example, I'm sure you know in your own family, in our, in our communities, in organizations, clubs you belong to, specifically, here's a perfect example, work, in the workplace. I know myself for the past 30 years working with different people in different departments, let's just say I'm working with a group of uh, 20 people, 20 employees. One. All 19 can be great team players, great attitude, in a good mood consistently, but one. One can always be, ah, the glass is half empty, not full. Nah, that'll never fly. Or, or here you go, here you go. Ooh, I wonder who's showing up today. Oh, I wonder which personality that person's going to be around today. You know what? That one person is a cancer. All 19 out of the 20 can be great. That one person can ruin it for everyone, and you know exactly what I'm talking about, whether it's in a family, an organization, a community, a club, but even the workplace. So, what do you do? There's three options. Number one, you deal with it and just put up with it. You never want to do that. Number two, you remove that person from the situation, because it won't get better, or you remove yourself. Unfortunately, the way life goes, as you know, what ends up happening? Either that person moves on or you have to move on because no matter what, that negative attitude just festers as a pandemic throughout the entire organization, throughout in a family, throughout the community. But you know what's great? You can control it. You are your own, as you know the body is strong, has a strong immune system, but you got to build it up. You are your own antibodies. You are your own antibiotic, if you will, or serum. And here it is. It's the, it's the, uh, the, the JFA, the Joe Fermano antibiotic. Be positive. Wake up and feel great about your life. Look at things on the bright side, not on the negative side. Attack your dreams. Uh, live to serve. Help other people. Don't be afraid to fail. And when you do that, here's what happens. If you have that kind of personality, 
this is it, it's kind of like 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 you're taking a drug to just kill it off the negative cells. Those negative people in your life, those people who are like a like a like a like an umbilical cord that just sucked the, the life out of you, they eventually, oh they will, they will stay away. They won't they won't be able to stand being around you because you're always positive and you're bright and you're moving forward. Then what happens? As you build up your positive immune system with the JFA, the Joe Ferbato antibiotic, you'll start to surround yourself with people just like you because they want to be around you. And it becomes like a protective film, almost like a, a giant rubber can you believe I got these on? Anyway, a giant rubber glove around you and nobody can infiltrate that. And people will want to be around you and you'll block that out. But if you don't do that, just remember this crazy getup that I have here. If you are going to let other people ruin your day, affect your life, your dreams, and oh, by the way, those, remember this, those who can't see something for themselves cannot see it for you. What do I mean by that? Quite often, you go to people that you know, you think are your friends, your acquaintances, and you ask them for advice, and they're constantly, nah, 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 you'll never do that. If they're not doing it in their lives, don't expect them to champion what you're doing. You're better off alone, and then attracting the people who are like you. So remember that. But confidence is contagious. I think it's sad today how we clamor for for um, uh, toward a, a gossiping and, and talking about, oh, what happened over the weekend with that? Oh, did you hear about so-and-so's child? Did you hear about so-and-so's husband? No, nah, that's not the way to go. If you're going to approach life every day where, oh, I'm afraid to get out there. I'm, I'm, I'm here, and, you know, I, I just, I can't, I, I'm too old to achieve my dreams. I'll never be able to, I'm just going to give up on life and go into myself. Here it is right here. Is this a scary thought? You might as well go through life like this. So remember this. Remember this look. Remember the scary Joe look, okay? Because this is what you're doing every day when you continue to hang with people. Remember, you are what you're around. You are what you're around. Break away from that. Celebrate life. Celebrate the opportunities that you have. Think about all the gifts. There's always something good to find. Then what happens is you attract like. You've heard this before. You'll attract that. You'll protect it. Pandemic, pandemic, uh, 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 flu, whatever you want to call it, it won't exist. And you know what? Actually, physically, as well as mentally, it's a given. You will feel better. Hey, I'm Joe Fermano. Thanks for tuning in to today's daily video blog. It's contagious. I'll see you next time. Till next time, get rid of this stuff. It's uncomfortable. It's nasty. But I match. Hey, I match. But no, nah, this is not the way to go. Make it a great day. It is the only one you've got.